Hi everyone, I'm really glad you could join me today. I've had several people request that I put together something for gifts, for gift sets. And I already have one set that includes sort of a sample of everything. Um, I've got one thing that has three different jars in it. It has uh, the donkey milk, it has the bison tallow, and the lanolin cream. And that's been very popular. But I have so many fans of the Bison products. And without me going into a lot of detail, as part of the restoration of Bison here in Texas, I have become a big part of that. And I'm really excited about that. And it allows me more access to a lot of folks in the industry and to learn a lot from others because this is something that I'm still learning about. Even at my age, there's a lot you can learn. Anyway, that being said, I did want to have someone ask me to create something for a gift, uh, so a specific gifts for someone. And we talked about it a bit and she wanted like a wood box of some kind and had the idea idea of what things she wanted included and after we went back and forth a bit and I made some suggestions we came up with this idea and that is a box that will contain uh, the bison tallow soap they get a free coaster <laughs> for setting drinks on or whatever you choose to some bison cream the bison lip balm, and of course the little uh, spatula that goes to the balm as well. I'm very proud to be a part of the restoration of bison in the state of Texas. And it's not just Texas. A lot of states are doing their part, especially the Great Plains states, to return them. Um, there is a lot of very sad history in this country about, you know, the desecration of the animals of the Great Plains and to the native tribes, um, of which I'm a part of. And this is just something that makes me very proud that I can work with the animals, work with the organizations that are doing their part to restore that, even to some de small degree. And in addition, bison meat is delicious. Okay, I would be lying if I didn't say so. Uh, but that being said, uh, it was such a joy for me to make these boxes to uh, or not make the boxes. I purchased the boxes from Paper Mart, uh, but to add the laser imprinting on them and that sort of thing. Um, it was a lot of fun for me to design and do, and of course to put my own wonderful creations in the boxes. Just makes me very proud. And, uh, I've, you know, locally I already have a lot of interest in these, but I want to offer them on the website as well for those that are interested. And again, a part of the proceeds will go towards the restoration. And that's also inside the lid, some information on that. And uh, this, I just added this on, is just something additional. I normally don't film these sort of things, but this is actually a gift that I'm doing here. And I'm just showing how I do do my gift wrapping. It's nothing special. I'm not terribly skilled in this arena. Uh, this is something that, you know, some customers do pay for, and I put the effort in. Now, one of the things I will say, I adore these glue dots, which are just um, dots of glue on strips of wax paper. And it makes it so much easier to add, uh, you know, that wonderful stickiness that you need to uh, tape your packages together without having to add plastic tape, which I'm trying to get away from in every way that I can. And these are some old glue dots that my mother had in one of her craft boxes, and I'd never used them for anything. And it just occurred to me, how could I tape this, quote-unquote, without using tape? And I realized you can get 
uh, paper tape, but I don't like the adhesives that even those paper tapes use sometimes, and I'm not even saying that this adhesive in this glue is perfect. It's not ideal, but it's such a tiny amount. It's practically invisible amount uh, of adhesive that's actually on the tapes to do this. So I'm very happy with it. I think it is a good compromise and I think it looks better than taping, which is what I've always done in the past for gift wrapping. So this was a nice uh, addition for me. Now I do think that buying and these are my mother's been gone for close to 20 years so this this tape is at least that old. So I have a feeling <laughs> getting some that are newer probably would be in my favor you know to my benefit. They'd probably uh, peel easier, stick better, that sort of thing. But hey these do actually work. Uh, I don't have any complaints about them. And I personally would love to get something like this. I love wrapped things. You know, it's not always about what's inside, although in this case, it's pretty awesome stuff inside, if I do say so myself. But isn't it fun to get something that's wrapped? Now, for me personally, I love brown paper and string. Maybe it's because I was a fan of The Sound of Music and... Uh, this uh, Julie Andrews singing about her favorite things. One of those was brown paper tied with a bow, tied with string. So I guess that's always been in my, in the back of my mind as something good. And uh, so that's what I decided in my packaging because you know a lot of what I do is brown paper. I use brown paper sacks for my soaps. I use uh, the craft brown labels. Wherever I can, I try to use things that don't have a lot of artificial colors added to them, and that's why the purpose behind craft paper, actually. Um, but even it is not perfect, if you look at the manufacture of it. Now, I do use a recycled paper, so it's been paper before, and then made into new paper. So it's that, you know, maybe that is marginally better. But the hemp uh, string that I'm using is actually something renewable and much easier on the environment. I really appreciate y'all coming along with me today. I just wanted to share this with you all. I, if it's something you're interested in, you would be helping out a worthy cause. And I'm going to put a link to the Restoration Society of Texas uh, on the screen for you so you can take a look at that yourself. Thank you all so very much. I appreciate you. You know, we don't say thank you to each other nearly enough, I think, sometimes, at least in my opinion. So I like to take this time to just say thank you for all that you are. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.